Hello everyone, uh, I'm currently a graduate student at Columbia University and this work was done last year as part of Google Summer of Code while I was still an undergraduate at IIT Hyderabad. So uh, a few languages like Java and Go have their own garbage collectors, right? So, but, and there are a few libraries uh, like the integer set library ISL, which is used for polyhedral compilation, uh, which uses certain memory annotations uh, in function declarations to, to give us information about what happens to an object's ownership, as well as it also specifies the responsibility as to, uh, as to who will release it as well. And improper uh, memory management can lead to various runtime errors like uh, uh, memory leaks or double freeze uh, and stuff like that. So it's kind of really important for us to uh, check for improper memory management and compile time to uh, avoid these issues. So let's first take a look at uh, a few uh, memory annotations which ISL uses. So uh, for those of you who are, who are familiar with the core foundation me memory annotations, a couple of these are uh, semantically equivalent to those. So the ISL give memory annotations. It, it actually uh, uh, annotates that a new object is returned. And the user should make sure that the, the object that is returned by this annotation should actually be passed uh, as a value as an ISL take argument. The, the ISL take annotation, it, it specifies that the object that the argument points to is to be taken over by the function and it may no longer be uh, used as an, uh, as an argument to any other function. And we have to make sure that the object which, is, which has this ISL take uh, memory annotation, it should be the one written by an ISL give function. So ISL give is equivalent to the CF returns retained uh, annotation and ISL take is equivalent to the CF consumed annotation. ISL keep is, is it, it just specifies that the function will only use the object temporarily and uh, any other function is allowed to uh, kind of use this value after this point on. And ISL null is just basically a null values return. Now, initially we, we compiled the ISL code base with the retain count checker, which essentially performs reference counting enabled. And so overall 580 warnings were raised uh, and the, uh, they are categorized as mentioned on the slides. So the true positives were primarily raised because the certain, certain functions in ISL were missing memory annotations. So those were fixed pretty early on. Uh, the false positives were raised because uh, the, the Clang static analyzer was inlining certain functions of ISL which were actually performing reference counting and it did not trust them in a way. So let's take a look at this example. Uh, so if you take a look at the function foo, uh, it has two objects bmap2 and bmap1 which are obtained as, uh, which are returned by the function bar which returns an ISL give, uh, uh, ISL give pointer. So th those are obtained with reference count of plus one each. Now, when the ISL basic map free function is called, which actually decrements the reference count, it actually decrements the reference count as far as the ISL's semantics are concerned, but, but Clang static analyzer is unable to see that and it raises a leak warning. So what we did was we added the annotation uh, in, in front of such functions which actually perform memory management by, by just specifying this RC ownership trusted implementation. And we added support to the Clang static analyzer for it to trust functions which ha have these annotations so that it, it doesn't inline them. And, and so the uh, leak warnings went away. Now, after this, it, we kind of needed to uh, generate, gen generate uh, generalized diagnostic notes. So we added a generalized data type in addition to the core foundation and objective C data type that it already had. And uh, we also added generic annotations as opposed to the CF returns retained and CF consumed for uh, for, uh, for, for memory management purposes. Now, uh, callee side reference counting was absent in the original version of the retain count checker, but it can be, fair, it can be used extensively for finding bugs on the error path. So we, we added feature for uh, adding callee side, para, uh, callee side reference counting as well. Uh, and the link is posted at the bottom. So the incomplete aspects was, uh, I mean, when we have a function pointer and the, the static analyzer is somehow una unable, to, uh, pre uh, unable to raise false positives on memory leaks. So uh, this is one of the incomplete aspects of, uh, of my project, which is still uh, a work in progress. And after the, after the entire work was done, you can see that the number of total warnings that were raised was reduced by a factor of three. And the, the major chunk of those warnings was false positives, uh, which were uh, due to the inlining by Clang static analyzer. And a detailed report of my work and how 
You can use the modified retain count checker for reference counting is posted at the bottom. Okay, thank you.